Patricia and Quincy, what's cooler than being cool? Uh, Ice summer? cold. <laughs> cold. <Yeah. laughs> My friend Kennedy, we got the chance to talk to her earlier. Let's check that out. Now we are talking to someone I have had the pleasure of knowing for over 20 years of my life. We have Kennedy Summers on the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kennedy. And tell us a little bit about your background and who you are. So I was playmate of the year in 2014, and I am currently a medical student, and I will be graduating in 12 weeks. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and she grew up right here in Hampton Roads, which is also really cool. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how medical school has been affected, like class wise, by the pandemic? Oh, girl, it's been so bad. I can't even tell you. Um, so I was going to class in Houston, Texas, and they actually banned med students from the hospitals. And so my entire OB rotation was really hard because we weren't supposed to be there. So they kind of had to sneak you in if you went at all. And after that, they shut down completely. So we just couldn't do any classes. I've got classmates there who are still waiting. They have been out of school since March. So what happened with me is I kind of just packed up all my stuff and was like, I've got friends who are doctors. I'm going to go to Virginia and just do it there. So yeah. So, so, now, you're, great release. <laughs> so now you're in Virginia? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. You've been in town for what, like six weeks now? Yeah. I and mean, I got six more. And then I've got six weeks in Boston and I'll be done. Oh, and, that's awesome. Can you explain yeah. a little bit about how that works? How you can just go from Texas to Virginia, but you're still in class technically? So it's not typical for a U.S. med school, but with Caribbean med schools, you kind of get a little bit more flexibility. And so we can set up our own rotations. And that's one of the little conveniences here. So while the U.S. students were kind of messed up and they couldn't go back to class, I had the ability to just set up affiliation contracts with my school. And I think that was really, really fortunate. Yeah. So what's going to happen with the graduation now since all these uh, with the pandemic is going on? I know you just mentioned that I have another 12 weeks to go. But are uh, you going to have a celebration? Because I believe everyone is waiting for that moment, right? I wish. Um, I don't <laughs> know if we'll be able to even have a celebration. I bought myself a one-way ticket to Europe. So I was like, I'm going to celebrate this ah, way. <laughs> so that's your celebration right there, going to Europe. <laughs> kind of. But then they delayed our board exams by 12 to 18 months. And so I might just stay. You can practice <laughs> medicine out there, too. So without well, that's a good thing. without the exams, yeah. I'm coming to the well, that's, <laughs> that's the fun part, I think, right? Can you imagine you just graduated and then you can go practice around the world? That would be awesome. Right. I love Switzerland. I'm looking there in Germany. <laughs> Traveling has been a big part of your life, too. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, Ashley and I actually went to Mary Baldwin together, and I left when I was 18. I went to go model in Milan and was like, I'm not going to do college right now. It's not the right time, but... You know, things come full circle and it works out. And luckily, Ashley and I have been friends since middle school. And, you know, we make That's it work. Awesome. Touch, so. And like you say, you have time to go back to college now and do what you want to do and pursue your dreams. And you're so beautiful. So, yes, you're, yes, you're beautiful. I can see you as a model. You did it right. Oh, yeah, thank you. Writing firm papers, and she has been on every <laughs> continent on the planet, I think, except Antarctica, right? I've missed Africa, too, so far. Oh, oh that's on my list. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, and um, I wish you the best and <laughs> congratulations on your graduation day. So, if people want to follow you, how they can contact you, how they can see more about you, uh, Miss Kennedy S on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, any of it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, guys. Well, thank you so much. I love you. I love you too. Have a good show. <laughs> Bye.